In 1926, William Black opened his first nut roasting shop, Chock Full of Nuts, in Times Square. He targeted his sales to theater goers. Proving to be popular, he added 17 more locations shortly after opening his first one. When the Great Depression struck, New Yorkers could no longer afford the luxury of shelled nuts. As a result, Black switched from roasting nuts to roasting coffee beans and converted the nut shops to lunch counters. At these lunch counters, they served coffee and sandwiches. Their signature nutted cheese sandwich was made of cream cheese and chopped nuts on dark raisin bread and cost five cents with a cup of coffee. When coffee prices went up in the 1950s, other restaurants held on to a five cent cup of coffee by watering it down. Black refused to compromise on quality and raised the price of his coffee. In 1953, Black began to sell his coffee in grocery stores across New York. He named his coffee after his shops, keeping the name Chock Full of Nuts. It was named the number one coffee in New York City in 1955. A couple of years later, baseball legend Jackie Robinson became the company's vice president and director of personnel after retiring from baseball. The famous Heavenly Coffee jingle was Chalk's advertising campaign. It was based on the song That Heavenly Feeling, written by Bernie Wayne and Bill Silbert. The jingle was sung by Black's wife, cabaret singer Paige Morton Black. This jingle received extensive airplay on both radio and television in the 1950s and 60s. Chock Full of Nuts reached its peak in the 1960s when the chain had over 80 restaurants, some as far south as Philadelphia. Hygiene was a main reason for this success. The sandwiches were advertised as untouched by human hands. Cooks used tongs to assemble them.
Eventually, the retail coffee business overtook the restaurants in sales, and in the 1970s, the lunch counters gradually closed. In 1988, all chock full of nuts restaurants were sold to a company called Reese Brothers and then sold to Sara Lee Corporation in 1999. Six years after that, it was sold to Massimo Zanetti Beverage USA. To assure those with nut allergies, the company eventually added the slogan, No Nuts, 100% Coffee, to its packaging in the 2000s. The coffee blend itself, in fact, has never contained nuts. In 2010, it was announced that the old school chock full of nuts lunch counters, complete with their legendary date nut raisin bread cream cheese sandwiches, would be returning to New York. Now there are a handful of chock full of nuts cafes open, located in Brooklyn, upstate New York, Elizabeth, New Jersey, and Miami, Florida.